it back. You made it back. Come on then. Come on then. Let's get on. Let's get on with it. Three five one five. That's what we want to do on this one. So did you see the last video where we shot low sixties? Woo! That was a big boy right there, wasn't it? That was a big boy. Big boy. Now to be honest, I just gotta get this off my chest. I was a little bit upset because I was wishing that I actually didn't have that on video only because I know that I would have been deep into the uh, 70s or probably pushing 80s because I was in full lock in a full lock zone. I was in a full lock zone, man. What I mean is I was in such a zone. I wasn't in like, there was no thoughts. I was just in automatic mode. It was amazing. <clears throat> amazing looking back, <clears throat> but, but. As I got to the second, through the second video, I was looking at, I kept looking at the time I could see on the phone, you know, the time, and the time was saying like 28 minutes, whatever, 20 something minutes, and I'm like, oh shit, you know what I mean, because I was in the zone, time was just ripping by, time was just going by so fast, I was total, you know, totally in the zone, just killing it, I mean, you've seen it, and if not, go back and check it out, man, it's pretty rad, and, um, but, I, so, what happened was, my zone broke, my focus, my focus broke, the reason it started chopping up was because I was thinking how I did not want to throw a third video. I did not want to throw a third video, so it really sucked, gang. You feel me? I know there are people out there that feel what I'm talking about. It sucks, man. I was on a big, a deep roll. I know I was going to be on a, jeez, that's a point, by the way. I mean, but, so, just wanted to get that off my chest. I was a little upset because of that, but, uh, oh well. So, you know, I ended up started thinking about shit, and I was like, ah, fuck, you know. So, I was glad I did throw what I did, so you could see that. That was pretty, you know, that roll was obviously super rad. But, what I wanted to talk about in this video was, uh, be aware. You know, be aware. You know, watch your back. Watch your back, man. Six dudes, eight. You know, watch your back. It's, uh... Whew. Oh, man, damn. You gotta be careful. With all this money making, you know, we're showing you how to do... All these nice rolls and all that. You got the rolls, you got the game down. You're getting real slick. Now, you got to start disguising your shit. It just is what it is, man. Three, use. It is what it is, you know. Some might not agree with it, but, you know, I'm more of a stealthy, craps, uh, you know, hacker. Myself, I'm more stealthy. I don't want to want to be known. I don't want to be known. I'm not going to talk about money I'm making. Although I am going to bring you in. I'm going to bring you in. Uh, you know, I got something lined up where you'll be able to see some nice money being made. You know what I mean? So it won't be like, oh, we're just talking shit. And I'll, you know, I'll bring you in. But you know, I just we'll leave, we'll just drop that. At that we'll leave it at that. Cause I'm not going to, you know, what I mean? whatever, man. Cause fucking YouTube, Google, they're already trying to fucking play us anyway. Shadow man, this because you know, because we ride with Jones, you know what I mean? Alex Jones, fuckers will probably fucking ban this video because I said his name. Bastards. Bang out. Five, three, eight. Point. Point. Yes, and I like this roll. Yes, I like this roll. It is a new roll. It is a new roll. You are seeing the nice little twisting coming out of that uh, premiere situation from the back from the back, but I just wanted to, you know, make you aware of, you know, that you really want to be aware of, uh, of, uh, you know, of your surroundings, what's going on, you, know, you want to be, definitely be aware, you know, be aware, because you don't know, you know, if you, say if it was you shooting a 60, or if I'm in there shooting a 60, or a bullshit, you know what I mean, that means you're in a fucking super zone, and you're shooting for over a fucking hour. Because of all the heavy... Think about all the heavy payouts, dude. I mean, fucking serious payouts, man. That's going to put you directly on the map. I'm already on the map. My local casino for throwing fucking 30s, man. You know what I mean? Now's before I fucking knew better. You know, I was nowhere near as slick as I am now. Nowhere fucking near as slick. Nowhere. You know what I mean? So it's like, nah... I know some players, and I'm not going to knock anyone, you know, some people out there, controllers, they, you know, whatever, 
everyone's got their whole thing. I'm not saying it's right or wrong. I'm just letting you know what I do. I'm not knocking anyone's shit. You know, my whole thing is make your fucking money. You know what I mean? I just think you can have a prolonged, you know, dice controlling career in the casino if you keep more fucking low key and don't let people know your shit, you know? Because when people know your shit, then all of a sudden now you look like the person to rob, right? Coming from the casino with cash. At some point you're going to have to be in cash. At some point. You understand what I'm saying? What well, if you're not paying attention at the casino after a big roll like that? And you got someone eyeballing you. You don't even fucking know. They're sweating you. They're sweating you, you know? Because they're hungry. They want to eat. Come out seven. Funny how that happens. But there are people out there starving. I mean, for instance, you know, there are people I've seen them in the news. You know, they'll follow these people. They'll follow people home. You know, they'll follow people home and uh, you know, rob them at gunpoint. You know, damn, see how tight those were? Wow. Oh, oh. that thing came on. You know, then robbed them. If you're throwing hard like this and slick as shit like this, man, you don't want, I'm just telling you, man, I'm just fucking telling you, man, this is the real shit, this is coming from one of the fucking best, dude, I don't give a fuck what no one says, dude, <laughs> I mean, my shit's hard in the yard, man, I don't give a fuck, man, don't mean shit, who says fuck on the internet, you understand, know because I'm a real motherfucker on the street, you know what I'm saying, I'm a real fucking dude, man, that's what I'm talking about, you know, and motherfucker, people are out here robbing people, that's what I'm telling you, so watch your shit, you know what I mean? This ain't no weak shit I'm telling you about. Oh, shit. Five, four. You know what I mean? It's some strong fucking shit, man. You know, people run around like they're cute and shit, and then it's like making all this money, you know, whatever. Just saying whoever does that. I mean, you know, if you lived in the hood and shit like that, like I have, man, you had a fucking, you know, crack house behind you and shit like that, and you had to fucking answer the door, you know, motherfucker, what do you want? You know, with the gun up on them and shit, man. Motherfuckers, you know, these crackheads and all kinds of shit coming up to your door, you know what I mean? Seven in the morning. Shit, you don't know him. But you ain't fixing to take no well though. I'll tell you that damn much. Six. Ho. Six. Ho. So you know. Just saying, you know, some shit I've been through. Some real shit, man. Some real street shit. So I'm just telling you, man. This internet shit's all, you know, whatever, but I'm just telling you from the fucking underground, man. Motherfuckers are out there. They know your shit. They're hungry. They might come after you trying to fucking lay your ass down, man. I know people like that. They rob dope boys, man. They come in, they fucking lay the, lay them down. Or people with, you know, they have money, cash. Just saying. Watch your shit. Because they're out there. They'll come in, fucking lay you down, lay people down at fucking gunpoint with the gun on them. Fucking duct tape them and shit. Some scary shit, man. Some fucking scary shit, man. Just telling you. I've never been involved in that bullshit. I've always worked for my shit. I ain't never done no bullshit like that, man. I'm, you know, I'm an actual hustler. I'm not, you know, whatever. So I'm just telling you. So in case if you didn't know, just start watching it. Five, one, six. Start watching it. You know, just just be mindful. That's all I'm saying is be mindful. Be mindful, you know. And you know, some people can hate. You know, do your little thumb down bullshit. But you know, your little thumbs down, uh, bitch ass, putting that shit down over here on the internet on the internet, you know, go out there in real life and be all fucked up, right? Yeah, right. You know what I mean? Not aware of shit. Not a lick of common sense. So, you know, just use... I'm not saying our viewers are like that. I'm saying, you know, the person here, you know, that was a red, white, and blue. It's another six. Five, one. That is the key, though, is hitting those repeaters like that, though, man. Those repeaters are key. You know, you, got, you know no matter where you are. But... Same way. So that was all I wanted to say. Just, you know, watch your back on that shit because you guys are getting better. You're getting slick. You're getting uh, confident. You're getting um, consistent, which is really important. Three, one, boat. Point, point. Speaking of consistent, it's another point on the four, gang. Another point. Four fours on this one.
I mean, but you know, people know if, like, if people know you for that shit, man, just watch, watch who you trust with your shit that, you know, that once you start really getting slick, trust me, trust me, I don't care, you know, thumbs down, it, you know, I'm not even going to bash the haters on it, man, because they're not even understanding, you know, they probably had to fucking, the cush life never actually had no fucking street, you know what I mean, and probably actually scared to go anywhere, you know what I'm saying, because they never been on the street, had no shit happen, it's been the fucking cush life, and ain't nothing wrong with that, ain't nothing wrong with that. You know, for those of us who haven't, though, you know, we see things a little bit different. We actually know what the fuck's out there. So, you know, watch your back when you're at the casino. You know, make sure you know who the fuck's watching you. You know, and make sure that you don't, you know, you're, you're not getting followed and all that shit. I'm just, I'm just telling you, man. I'm just telling you, gang. Number love for you, trust me. Number love for you. So that was all I was thinking about, like, wow, man, I hope people are, you know, not being flashy out there. It's going to happen, but, you know. Oh, shit. Okay, that wasn't even a roll. Oh, man. I changed the thing, the camera view, but uh, the camera, I got it um, uh, charging. It's plugged up right now, so I kind of, I can tilt it this way, so you can see the hand set up. That's about, what do there, that kind of thing different role and you know that's why you know another reason why you know, I'm not gonna sit there and give you all my shit you know what I mean whatever but you know I'm gonna give you some good fucking info yeah that was strong Ooh, you see that thing will you know, right in front of you hey ho hey ho but you know when you're shit when you get really strong man you gotta watch watch it just watch it because you're not like the crowd now now you're able to go in there and you know you're able to do it, and so your look's going to be different. You're going to look different, you know, in your eyes, your expressions, your body, everything. So you got to learn to do different. You know what I mean? you got to, like, train yourself to do different. I know some people are like, oh, what the fuck you? Well, you know, some shit we need to get into. Because you got to guard your shit, man. How long do you want to be rolling for? You know, without being robbed and casino picking up on you. You know what I mean? Uh, shutting you down. You know, getting you on film, you know, playing you out, letting you think that you're okay and you're really not. And it's like the fucking dope boys are like, oh, yeah, we'll let you go. We'll let you go. And then meanwhile, they're fucking tapping you in all kinds of shit. Right, you know, that's a uh, six hard. You know, meanwhile, they're tapping you in all this shit. Why? Because they want to get the info. You know what I mean? But they let them go. You know, they let them go. Like, oh, yeah, you know, fucking dope boys are like, stupid dope boys are like, oh, yeah, I'm okay. This shit been happening. Do, 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 do. Fuck out of here, man. Really? You think it's like that, huh? Right. You're moving all that weight. All that money. Same goes for a dice controller. You're making all that money and all this shit. You don't think they're not going to be watching your ass? All that shit? Building data? Eventually coming for you? Come on, damn it. Oh, shit. Damn it. Fucking out. Bullshit. Of course, fucking dog, man. <sighs> what was that, man? Distracting me. Anyway. Uh, fuck. You know, watch your back, man. Watch your back, though. Watch your back. Watch your back. You never know. I was a sixth one out. Fucking dog barking at the perfect time, right? A little 18 jelly bean. But, um... Just saying, guy. I mean, seriously, you know, watch your back out there. Watch your back. Watch your back. Can't say it enough. I mean, because so many scenarios can happen out there that you know some might not be aware because of the life style that they led. You know, they hadn't you know really been around like grimy shit that can happen like around them. You know what I mean? Seem right. You know what I mean? Just I'm just hipping you to it. You know, to watch your back. Watch your back and be aware. And you know, uh, these are reasons why. I'm not going to sit there and roll for a fucking hour and all this bullshit and all this stuff, you know what I mean? You know, especially somewhere like, if it's somewhere local, hell no, hell no. For my town somewhere, I'm only going to be there for a minute, maybe, maybe. You see what I'm saying, maybe, but not really, because they're going to fucking get you on film. They're going to get you on film and the fucking AI watching the bullshit, the, the cameras is going to sit there and pick up on your, you know, all your shit. You know, the way you're throwing for one, that's why another reason why we change our throw. We're going to pick up the way you throw, the way you look. Your demeanor, the way you know, all that shit. You know what I mean? It's going to build a profile on you. And I'm not really into that. They don't want you to know about that. Hey, that's all this video is about, gang.
that's all this video is about. That's all how we did those. Bring us back. Uh, 3515. I guess that was just my time to so I can keep this short. You know, throw a little short one. You know, so I don't, you know, get on some long shit. You know, throw like that. I'm going to set that up. That's how we threw that, though. As a matter of fact, we won't even set it. So, boom. So, we're using the Premier Grip. Bring it back. Put them on the edge, like that. So, we bring it back. Then we just launch like that. Launch like that. And it rolls out of your finger, like this. Like, I might have showed this before. I might have. You know, it just rolls out finger like that. See? Like that. Get a nice little spin. Nice little spin. Once you got your correct, once you have your correct dice set, rather, it'll really be nice. So that's how we did that. Show you a couple of these here. And those are good ones right there. You see how close those are flying to each other? Those are good ones. You know, and they will spring off the back like that. They'll go whoop, spring back out because you're shooting from the back, but then they'll land and they'll do like this. So they shouldn't do the hibbity hop and the flippity flop and all that, all that business. Today is Tuesday. Hope you guys watched, uh, had a chance to uh, watch that long video. Uh, that was, uh, we had a viewer mention to us that we uh, marked one of the chips as uh, with one of our hundred, you know, chips from our stack. What we had won, we marked that. See how tight those were right there? Those were nice and tight. Uh, they were wall crasher, but they were nice and tight though. You know, so. Our table is only 11 foot, so you know my arm's strong throwing, so I need to be at a regulation table, you know, so whatever. But we work with it. See, it's another one's a little strong, but you can get the idea how we're throwing it though. So that's why I'm just throwing a couple here. So you could, you know, try something different. I'm trying to, you know, hey, we're trying to help out, damn it, dang it. I'm trying to help you out here. You know, because these rolls are ridiculous. You know, we want you to be able to understand that the way these rolls are uh, landing and roll, the way we throw them and the way they land is the whole thing of these rolls because we're going to throw it like this we're going to set it like this premier grip we'll set premier grip like this tilted like this so boom you know tilt it up on edge and what we're going to do we're going to bring it back and then bring it forward so we're kind of bringing it back and then forward see so it's like a real subtle you know back forward nose flew one piece roller you know if you could see that back there those were one piece flying through the air and that's what you want you know so when they land about two inches from the wall that's what we're showing today on this one see get the wall that would have been uh, out get the wall I'm throwing long so i said you know i throw long anyway but anyway so here we go two inches from the wall like that see and it's like Bloop. you'll even get a kiss a little hop and pop you know uh, Main thing is it'll settle down, you know, and uh, spin. You'll see them pop out this way deep, but it's not like they're really tumbling over each other. They're just hopping out. See, that one hopped out, and it was trying to tumble, but then you could see it was doing like that. See, so that's the way. That's why I like this dice, uh, the way I've been throwing these dice and showing you guys, the way I throw the dice that no one else knows has shown you. Because it works, and this shit's hardcore, man, and it's fucking unstoppable for the tables now. Why do you think I'm showing you? I wouldn't show you for no reason, see? It's like, it goes, bloop, you can hear them, that sounded good, because it went, bloop, like that, and it popped off. One stayed up like that, and the other one came out a little bit, and spun off over to the side. You know, it gives them a lot of spin, and just this spin, uh, you know, I'm like a mad scientist, that's about all I can say, I'm not going to brag on myself or any bullshit like that, but just say I'm like a mad scientist, even my one buddy, you know, uh, I work my part-time job, he knows, I don't even fucking know how he knows, but... Like, he's a really fucking, you know, high intellect dude, man. Like, really high IQ dude. And he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, dice control, blah, 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 saying something. I'm like, uh, how does this dude fucking know how to do this shit? Maybe a couple of people I work with that know I do it, you know. They, uh, they told him, you know, and he's like, you know, he can figure shit out. And he's like, yeah, physics. You know what I mean? Just fucking common sense physics. You know what I mean? Hell yeah, you know. The other dice can be controlled. One more here. Try to get a really good one. You can slightly turn them also. So you don't have to always have them like that. You can slightly turn them like that. So the R ray slightly turn and boom like that. You know, and those went like bloop, bloop, you know, over there to the side. So whatever. Haters gonna hate, but you know what matters is, is never sweating the haters 
always being cool with the relators and knowing that this is the real shit. Four fours, four sixes, three eights, two fives, two nines, zero tens, four fours, 18 rolls. That's 18, something like that. Right around our average. You know, it's like 19, 20. The dog, when it came and barked, it's like fucked up. But that shit happened. You know what I mean? It just came out of nowhere. But, um, hey, it's the way, it, way it goes, though. Plenty enough to make money. Plenty enough to make money. Okay? Pull your money. Always remember, watch your back. I can't stress that enough to watch your back and watch your surroundings. And But, you know, not like you're paranoid. You know I mean? Don't look like you're paranoid, but just be very aware. And it has to just be like very, like, secondhand nature awareness. You know what I mean? And just not letting, you know, this is, my whole thing is what I'm trying to get you guys to understand is not allowing too much information to get out about you to the casino or to other people there. You know, that you're as good as you are. Because you really don't want to let people know that you're slick. Okay? And that's what we got to say for today on this video. C.K. Danger Song. Underground crap. Trust me. Be aware. Because around this place, around here, you know, um, you know, they've had on the news locally that, you know, people have been followed from the local casino uh, home and laid down at gunpoint. And they were followed for several miles. Like fucking shit. Like 15 miles, man. You know what I mean? So, I'm just telling you. Mind what Dangerous is telling you. See you next time, gang. I'm about to shoot another one after I do this one. Get over here to L2 and then shoot another one. See you next time. We're going to drop this right off. Tuesday, 6.30 p.m. See you next time, gang. On the other side. Thanks for viewing.